Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2024 preseason coaches River Falls Wildcats softball show. Alongside of me is Coach Matt Smith, Senior Lily Burke, Senior Jordan Torres, Senior the Hacksaw Jordan Schwanz, and Coach Ryan Schurz as well. With alongside the possible viewership of 6 billion viewers on the World Wide Web is Director Kevin Westhouse. Kevin, thanks for all you do tonight. Hey, we're here live in Johnny's Bar in downtown River Falls, and we're going to tell you why we're in Johnny's Bar in just a second here. I want to give a big round of applause to Johnny's Welcome for, or appreciation for Dave and Cheryl Dittman. Thanks a lot. The, the, reason, the reason we're doing our show tonight at Johnny's is because about 10 years ago, the River Falls Youth Girls softball program had zero teams, zero participants, and when it started off, they had to raise a ton of money, and over the years, Johnny's Bar has been responsible, in part, for helping raise thousands and thousands of dollars for River Falls Youth Softball. Now, these girls are all seniors. You guys started in the program at least 10 years. Is that about right? About 10 yeah. years ago? So it, it got started, and in, in, in Youth Softball now has at least 10, 12 teams in it. So you went from zero to about 120 kids in the program in about 10 years. So I think and Johnny's Bar has been a big part of that with, with in the fundraising category. But... Uh, we're going to get right at it, Coach. Uh, so last year's uh, your, your team mindset of being a coffee bean and adapting to situations and making the best of those situations, was I thought, was fantastic. This year you stuck with the same author, John Gordon. Your team motto this year is stick together. Uh, tell me why the stick together motto was decided. Uh, you know, yeah, John Gordon, last year did the coffee bean. He's one of my favorite authors, if anyone's ever checked him out. Just a lot about being positive, solution-based type stuff. And he works with a lot of teams and does a lot of things, just keeping people, you know, proper attitudes and understanding the big picture type things. And a uh, book he came out with this last year was Stick Together, and I read through it, and it's a quick read, um, just like the coffee bean, and I really think it felt what we were looking to do. And, uh, you know, some things with the girls, they've all read it, and um, kind of with our schedule coming out, Fast and Furious, to start them with the weather and then with spring break, we haven't got to dive into it a whole lot, but everyone has read it, and we're gonna do some activities and stuff with it as we go here. And it's one of those things where it's not just we read the book and then we move on and we maybe talk about it once. It's actually something that we, we believe in. I know I believe in it that, you know, the mindset of being positive and enjoying the experience and, you know, literally sticking together. Um, basically, the, the book in general, if, if you can't guess, is, you know, you take one little twig, it breaks easily under pressure. You get, you know, our whole program together, 30, 35 twigs. You put those all together, they stay together. That, that's a tough bond there. And that's something we really talk about and we want to make sure we preach and realizing that, you know, it's more than just softball. It's life lessons that, that we're teaching and really, you know, the, the collaboration, the camaraderie, depending on other people and going into things with that mindset, you're going to be successful. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, softball is such a, like, you, you can go up there and you, and, you, and you may strike out. You know, it's kind of a good symbolism for life, too. But you, you might strike out. You got, but you got to get up there and get, get, at the, you know, get up again. Well, exactly. It's a game, you hate to say, a failure. But, I mean, if you hit 400, you're an outstanding player. You're going to be all-conference. You know, you're going to get a bunch of accolades. That means you still got out six out of ten times. So right. how you handle failure is, is a big part of that. And we talk about that, that you got to grow, you need to learn, you need to understand, and then move forward. You can't dwell on it, you can't be in the rearview mirror. Uh, you have to move forward with the information that you have, and, and that's part of that mindset of sticking together, picking each other up. You can't let one bad at bat, one error, one bad call, you know, blow up on you, and you're wearing that heavy backpack for the rest of the game. Um, so as teammates, you got to be you know, mindful of that with people and picking them up and being positive and just making sure that everyone's on the same page that, hey, it's one pitch at a time and when that happens, we move on to the next and, you know, you can't bring a strikeout with you out to the field, you can't bring an air with you up to the plate. Um, you know, it's a game of, it's a team game. One person's not going to win a game, one person's not going to lose a game. We got to stick together and do what we need to do and, like I said, being able to handle fail failure is a big part of that. Don't let failure be final. Learn from it, move on, and let's find what we can do to help us win. That's great. Uh, high school softball can be a quick season, seven weeks, you know, for the regular season. How do you get your message across to your team about, you know, not taking outs off, you know, not taking an inning off? Uh, we talk about greatness comes from not getting bored with the basics. Um, in terms of our drills and stuff that we do, our, our practice plans, it's not flashy. Um, it's, it's not rocket science what we do. It's a ton of, you know, repetition, fundamentals, basic drills that, that we are doing um, just to get really good at the basic things. And we talk about... If you can play catch better than the other team, you're going to be competitive. You've got a good chance to win the game. And, you know, softball is a game of going out and playing catch, being able to do that, fielding the ball, throwing the ball, catching the ball. Uh, you know, at the plate, obviously, you got to put the ball in play, put, put pressure on the other team. Um, but we just talk about really being great at the basics. Um, 
playing catch. It's a race to 21 outs. If you, if you make it simple, um, you know, get to your 21 outs. You, once again, we talked about you can't dwell on things. A seven-week season, you blink and you're done. So let's just enjoy it while we got it each game at a time. You're going to lose games. You're going to have adversity. You pick up, you move on, you get ready to go one, one game to the next, one pitch to the next. All right. Hey, Coach Scherz, uh, I talked with Coach Smith last year quite a bit about the team culture you guys had, and, and he said that culture part was all Coach Scherz. Um, but, you know, tell me why having a great culture, you know, on your team is so important. I, it, that's Matt's far too kind and generous. Uh, he's an unbelievable coach and a great guy to work with. So um, I will certainly not take full credit or much credit at all. A lot of it's the girls um, really buying into what we're doing. Cultures, it's it's really what uh, it it's what drives good behaviors. If you have a bad culture, you're not going to get the behaviors you need to win. Uh, if you have a great culture, typically you get the behaviors you need to win. And these girls have bought in. They've been a huge part of it, and they're continuing to do that. I've enjoyed watching them do that. You know, the, for, through the first few weeks of practice. Um, you know, so you talk about that. So what what are the most important ingredients to the team culture soup de jour? I mean, I think it, obviously there's there's a lot of pieces, um, but the the mindset you bring every day, the kind of the standard with which you go about your business. Um, do you set high standards and do you hold people accountable? Do you hold yourself accountable? Uh, do you communicate? Um, are you disciplined? You know, those those are the things that I think make a strong culture. Um, it's, and again, much like practice, it's not it's not rocket science. You got to do those things. If you do them well, you're going to have a pretty good culture. So um, last year you had two great senior leaders in uh, uh, Avery Amadon and, and Ali Lauby. Um, this year's seniors, Lily, Jordan, and, and Jordan, um, what do they have to do to be successful leaders for your team this year? I think they have to. Uh, we're, we're playing. There's a lot of new. There's there's not a ton of new faces, but they're still young players. Um, and I think that having patience, as well as kind of including them in, in uh, making them feel a part of what we're doing um, is a big part for you know very talented players in their own right, but we're only going to be as good as as their ability to bring those other players with them. Um, so far, they're doing a great job. Yeah. So uh, speaking of the seniors, let's let's talk to them. So um, I I I, I got a hold of four BRC coaches, softball coaches, and and I asked them you know what what team had the best one two three hitters you know in the lineup, and all four of them said River Falls did. So um, Lily Burks, the leadoff, Jordan Torres, batting number two, Jordan Schwann's batting three. Oh, the coach said those, those, those three might be the best one, two, three hitters in the entire state of Wisconsin. And, uh, and I, I was like, that's awesome. So uh, Lily Burke, you're the leadoff hitter. You know, what is your approach going to the plate? Um, my approach would probably be, honestly, just getting on base and starting a rally for my team so that it can get us going, honestly, just in the first inning. So just being on base first, and then I know my teammates have my back, and they'll score me. So, yeah. yeah. Um, see her, her bruise from uh, getting hit by the first yeah. pitch yeah. On, on Monday you got night. A, it's a you good got one. an HBP right out of the gate? Yeah. yeah. Hurt a little bit. Yeah. She wore it. She yeah, wore it. Yeah. Like Coach Ernie Pantuso. You know who that is? I do not. <laughs> look him up. Google yeah, look him up. up. Yeah. So, uh, Lily, you're going to go play softball next year at Concordia St. Paul. Um, you know, Tell me what you like best about Concordia. Um, I really liked that it was close to home because I'd rather not be so far away because obviously my family's here and then my friends will come back. But also I, the coach was probably the main part of why I went there. He's probably one of the best coaches like I've heard like say things about softball and it like really made me like want to go there. And then also I met some of the girls there and they just seemed like a really good team to be around. So, yeah. Are they gonna, are you going to play in the outfield there as well? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, pass the mic on over to the Jet, Jordan Torres. So, Jordan, you're, you're the catcher, mm -hmm. and uh, you're the quarterback out on the field. You you had a seasoned veteran pitcher last year in Allie Lauby. Mm -hmm. uh, she was on the rubber. And then this year's sophomore, Aud Audra Aderman, is going to be your ace. What are some of the things that you can do as a catcher to help Audra out? I think even on and off the field, me and Audra have a really good relationship, and we can go to each other when we need advice or stuff like that. So that really helps when we're on the field like situations like feelings get high and if we need to just take a time out and talk we're able to do that and get things going for our team yeah um so you're gonna go play softball at luther college mm -hmm. next year 
Um, what, what are you most excited about playing at Luther next year? Yeah, I went there as one of my last visits, and I went there to watch a practice and watch their workout, and I love their energy. Getting into the weight room, getting it done, it seemed like a very energetic and fun team to be around, so I'm really excited for that. Okay, a good deal. Um, pass the mic on over to the hacksaw, Jordan Schwanz. Um, Jordan, Coach Smith told me, uh, you know, he talked about it earlier. He said, you know, each game is a race to, to 21 outs, and you have seven, about seven weeks of your high school career left. What, what does each out mean to you? I think each out, like, no matter who's getting the out, it's, like, really important. And, like, for me as, like, a leader, just, like, being, like, locked in for every single play, even if the ball's not coming to me, some of the games, just, like, being ready every play, making the double plays that I usually do, and just, like, just being there for my team and getting the outs. I don't know. Yeah, so, I mean, like, last year I heard, you know, you guys, um, we'll, we'll get into this a little later, but, like, as a senior, and I know, like, last year you had, you know, kind of getting in some girls' face, like, hey, we're not doing this, or we're going to do this. Like, do you, do, you, do you plan on doing that at, to a different level, you know, next year, or this year? Yeah, I think I'm more of, like, an outspoken person. So, like, when I'm fired up, like, people know I'm fired up. When I get mad, people know I'm mad. But I think it just really, like, helps everyone else get fired up when I'm fired up. So I hope I can, like, help the all the younger girls, like, get fired up. Do you, do you think you get that attitude more from your dad, Jason, or from your mom, Cheryl? Oh, my dad, 100%. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next year you're going to be playing softball at Minnesota State, you know, down in Mankato. Um, what the, the Minnesota State girls won the national title in basketball that last week. The men also won it. Are you guys going to bring that same level of play to, to softball? Yeah, I really hope so. And I know that I play with some girls for club ball. Two of my teammates are going there, too. Okay. So that'll be really exciting. And I know they're a really good softball team, and they have really competitive coaches, so I'm really excited for next You're year. You're going to be playing in the same conference as Lily Burke next yeah, year. Yeah, we are. We're going to be <laughs> yeah. enemies now. Yeah. Um, well, uh, Coach Smith, uh, you said you know this team is going to stick together. And you're, you, said, you told me uh, when we talked recently you're gonna, you guys are going to kick some tires and light some fires. Uh, tell the legion of loyal listeners out there what, what you mean when you say that. I think it's just going out and, and doing things together and surprising some people and, you know, making a splash a little bit. And that's one thing, you know, when we play the game, we want to play it the right way. It's a, a roster full of just good people that, that bring some energy to, to the table and, you know, just kind of let them know when, when they're playing River Falls, you know, it, we're going to compete. It's going to be a, you know, a fight to the end and we're not going to lay down for anyone. And like we said, we go out and uh, we do things like the right way. It's not flashy. Um, it's kind of who we are. We have a, you know, an outstanding team, a great staff of coaches, and it's a fun group to be around. And so, we, yeah, we look forward to every game. And like I said, are we going to win every game? Probably not. It would be nice to. But if we go down, it's going to be with our best effort, and it's going to be everything that we got for the entire you know, seven innings or whatever it takes. Well, you know, speaking of the BRC softball, so um, the, uh, of the, co the other four coaches that I, that I did talk to, um, they all agreed. You did too. Chippewa Falls is kind of the – Kind of the they got the big tar down their back and they they've been strong for for 20 plus years yeah. and but but uh, New Richmond has a stud on the rubber um, and I think her it, her first name's Kennedy is it like Yochum I think Yoke, is her last Yoke, name yeah. yeah yeah Kennedy uh, Joke Jochum and then uh, Maddie Parker from Memorial is also a stud on the north, rubber North excuse, excuse me North yeah. North and but but it's just, it, the the BRC softball level like they're all the coaches you said it the other coaches agreed like. They think that the level of softball in the BRC this year is, is going to be strong top to bottom as it's ever been. And so, you know, kind of kind of talk talk about that. Oh, I definitely think so. I think it's one of those that, um, you know, conference champ, you know, I would say if you had to vote and tab the teams, I would say Chippewa, you know, until someone knocks them off, they're, they're the team to beat there. Um, but I could see them taking, a, a, you know, a few lumps. Um, you know, New Richmond's definitely solid. They didn't have any seniors last year and a very talented roster. Um, you know, they're going to make some noise, obviously. And then the Parker um, girl out of, out of north, anytime she takes the mound, they got a good chance to win. They're a very disciplined ball club there with a lot of athletes. You know, Hudson traditionally has been strong in, in the BRC. Menominee's an, an up-and-comer there. Um, you know, Rice Lake has got a few state championships in their program. They're always a tough out there. And, uh, you know, Memorial's getting better. And, you know, like I said, ourselves, it's, you know, we're going to go to battle every day. So I think you look at, at the conference, um, you know, there's no cupcakes. And I think, you know, game in, game out, week in to week out, you've got to come ready to go. And if they catch you on an off week, I think anyone could really, you know, take anyone else down. And so that's that parody's outstanding. Um, 
I think, if anything, it, it gets your level of intensity and your focus up every single week. You can't go into a game like, okay, hey, after we beat these guys and then we beat them again Thursday, then Friday we focus on this next team. you got to bring your best every day. Every practice has to be sharp, and when you take the diamond every time, your level of focus and just kind of the way you go about the game um, you know, needs to be you know, ramped up. So that's just a fun thing to have instead of, you know, playing playing games in, games out that, you know, you're going to go in and, and you think, oh, we're going to get our butts kicked tonight, or, oh, we're going to go out and we're going to take care of them easily. Um, every game could go either way in a lot of aspects of it. That's what makes it exciting. And, uh, yeah, BRC softball is definitely an outstanding conference and, you know, one of the, the bigger ones in, in the state. So a lot of talented athletes, teams, coaches, it's just fun to be a part of. And on a side note, I, uh, I love your shirts, the Kitty City Energy. <laughs> uh, solid, solid shirts. Uh, Coach Schurz, one of the best stories that I thought of last year um, – was you know when you guys played Chippewa Falls here at home, River Falls had a had a like it, it, what happened like had a 55 game losing streak hadn't beat Chippewa Falls since 1995. Jordan Schwanz is you know talk, telling the team before the ninth inning like we are not losing this game we're not losing this game and then you know Schwanz hits one off the wall ends up scoring on a pass ball and you know when when you talk about like team culture and leadership and. You know, what does something like that that she did last year, like what does that mean to you as a coach? I mean, it's to be a part of something like that, like that's why you coach. Um, to be a part of big wins, watching people be excited, um, watching Jordan do something like that. You know, there's in, in, in sports you don't have that many opportunities to do like really great memorable things. And to be a part of that with, with these girls was, you know, um, I've been coaching a lot of sports for a long time and that ranks right up there. Yeah, and then you know the other thing that happened too, um, I think you know maybe the maybe the second best thing, at least from a, from a fan perspective, was that and I, I had I had been down here when they were having the youth softball meetings and and uh, Paul Aderman would always say, well you know when we beat Hudson, when we beat Hudson, when we beat Hudson, you know hey we're going to come down here and celebrate. Well last year in the playoffs, you guys beat Hudson, and uh, and uh, it was a big playoff win. And I just think you know I just think the. Uh, sky's the limit for you guys, you know, moving forward, and and it's just like you guys not only hit, you hit so many different, you know, check off the thing of hey of, of a growing program, and it's just you know, how, how do you top that this year? I think the key is to not worry about trying to top that. Um, I think the key is, like Coach said, you got to do things one game at a time, one inning at a time, right. um, because you can only really control what you can control and that's your your attitude your effort and you know your preparation you can't always control and dictate the outcome um so regardless of of you know records or anything like that um we'll, we'll move the program forward regardless of of you know wins losses those type of things by how we how we prepare and play and get better grow so um I don't think anybody here really worries about trying to top that. We just got to go out and do our thing every day. Okay. Okay. All right, seniors, uh, we're going to have a, have a little fun. You guys ready? All right, so we're going to do uh, – we're going to get some of your other teammates involved and talk about them a little bit, and we're going to do some, some rapid-fire questions. Okay. Are, are you ready? Lily Burke, you can lead off if you want. Yep. All right, you're a leadoff hitter, so yeah. lead us off with interview. All right, what teammate not sitting here with you uh, is the best TikToker? Oh gosh. Um, uh, Alexis, I'll say. Ralston. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, all right, Jordan Torres. Uh, I know you're a big Taylor Swift fan, but yep. what teammate rivals your Swifty fandom? I think after the concert, Jordan's been a big Swifty. I put her on, and we went to the concert. And we had a good time. So. Uh, what was Schwanz. the best part about the concert? Um, I was standing up there all three hours. I was screaming, and Jordan was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I was done. I was yeah. Like Jordan was sitting down, bit. just." But then after the concert, she's like, "Wait, these songs are actually good." <laughs> what? What? Are, are you not a Taylor Swift? You weren't a. That's not your music. I like newer old songs, but I wasn't like a big fan of her new ones until I actually heard them in concert. And then I okay. Um, well, a question for you, Hacksaw. Um, what is the funniest thing that another teammate? has done or said in, in the practice this year? Well, today um, I get a little competitive in practice, and we were doing rundowns, and I accidentally tackled Diana. She's a sophomore teammate, and I think she was a little scared of me after that. It was but like this. 
charge yeah, going the other way. She kind of fell oh. over, and then I kind of just, like, fell on top of her, but I was trying to tag her, so it kind of looked like I was tackling her. I think she was a little scared, but... Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. That's why you have to sign high school waivers. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. we had a good laugh after, so that's all that matters. Um, Lily, you're up next. So the infamous annual Nerf War is going on right now. What teammate do you think is crafty enough to knock you out of the out of the Nerf War? Um... I honestly don't think anyone could get us out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> sleepy girls are just always on top, so that's your team name? Yep, yeah, we're sleepy, sleepy girls. girls. Okay, okay, yeah, good but deal. We're taking a little nap. Yeah, we're taking a nap right now. We'll come back on Friday morning. So Yeah. Okay, what so <laughs> if somebody had to though, if you had to pick somebody, who's the craftiest Nerf War person on your softball team? Um besides you guys. I would probably say Morgan Kibble. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Morgan's crafty? Yep. All right. Jordan Torres, mm -hmm. uh, what teammate of yours is the best singer? Um, I have three answers. Okay. I think Audra, Ava Larson, and Morgan. I always hear them <laughs> singing in practice, and sounds good. What do they like to sing? Um, all kinds of songs. <laughs> maybe maybe when, when this is all over and we're wrapping up, maybe they can come yeah. on the set. Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, sing. Yeah, all three well, are here. I, have, yeah, I only have one more question, and maybe <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll get them on, but uh, Jordan Schwanz, what teammate has the best best fashion style? I'd s I have two. I think Jordan Torres right here next to me. She's always dripped out at school. Okay. She always uh, has the best shoe game too. And then Alexis. Shoe game and ripping out. Okay. I'd say Alexis Ralston too. Alexis, she has pretty good, good style. Good, good work. Do you well, think we can two. get your teammates to come up and maybe sing, yeah, sing a song? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Let's go. Come on up. Yeah. Come on up. Come on. Yes. Audra, come on up. Audra, Audra yeah. come on. You're, you'll be able to remember this for the rest of your lives. <laughs> okay, they're not going to oh, sing. Okay. Oh, boring. Can they PG it? We'll beat them up tomorrow in practice. Okay. We'll get them out in the door for it. Yeah. Well, hey, so we have, um, you guys have a doubleheader against New Richmond coming up tomorrow, mm -hmm. and that's at New Richmond, correct? At New Richmond, yeah. um, what's, uh, what, what do you expect tomorrow, Jordan? Um, I think it, they're a really tough team, obviously. With They didn't have any seniors last year. They have a really good pitcher, Kenny. I just think we need to be on our A game and be locked in and ready, and who knows? Anything can happen. Yeah, and then the Saturday is the is the uh, the home opener for the broadcast. It's not home opener, but yeah. for the broadcast, the home opener, and you will play St. Croix Falls. What's the game first pitch? 3 o'clock. Yeah. 3 o'clock on Saturday. Wildcats and St. Croix Falls. It'll be on the River Falls Sports YouTube network. First time ever for Wildcat softball. We're very, very excited, excited. to do it. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and ladies and gentlemen, that's about all we have, you know, tonight for. Two things. Uh, your principal is saying hello online, so shout out to Kit hey. Lickie. Yeah. Kit, Kit Lickie, thanks for, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. So any, like, any audience questions? Uh, do you guys have any questions? Does the audience have any questions for the girls or the coaches? Bring the whole team and you. Yeah. Come on up, girls. Come on up. Come on up. Players, come on up. Everyone. Go, go, go stand right there by Coach Shears. What's up, y'all? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you guys take, uh, take the mic Jordan has, and you guys can introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm sophomore Audra Aderman. Say your position. Pitcher. Come on in, set, son. Um, Alexis Ralston. Outfield. Um, Morgan Kibble, first base. The crafty one. <laughs> I'm Sydney Kibble, I'm Flex. Uh, I'm Ella, I rep JV, and I play wherever I need to. That's the utility utility player. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what, Audra, why don't you guys grab the mic and sing, and you can kind of sing us out. Like They call it bump music in the business, Audra. Just All right. We can't think of any songs. I'll think of one for you. It's just got to happen. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in tonight to the, to the 2024 Wildcat Softball Preseason Coaches Show. And we will look forward to seeing you out on the diamond. And you guys all wave goodbye, and we'll see you, see you online. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Kitty City Roll Cats.